what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where i'm gonna be going over everything that's happened in my kvk up until this point so yesterday i had a friend in another kingdom message me on rock and he basically said hey man what's going on in your kvk it looks like you guys are fighting your allies and that's a serious allegation i know that uh, fighting allies never is a really is never really a good look right uh, some players probably think that there's never a good reason to fight your allies um, but i want to basically take you from start to finish and explain to you what happened in that time frame that ended up inevitably causing our kingdom to attack our allies now real quick before i jump in one I know the memes, all right? I, I see you guys. You guys are saying OmniArk always uploads way too long of videos, and I know, but this video is no ex exception, right? Grab a drink, get comfortable, because I have a lot to talk about. I haven't really covered this KBK because this is my first KBK as a content creator, and I didn't want to mess up. I don't want to leak any information. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I, I didn't want to be the reason that the enemies got information early. So that's my bad if you guys want to see some gameplay footage that i did record um it's not that exciting because it's really just me focusing on fighting uh, there's not too much talking but if you guys do want to see that i have a couple of hours of fighting um i can upload that just drop a comment down below if you want to see that fighting footage and drop a thumbs up on the video the other thing is i want to apologize for not uploading enough this week i kind of went on a random like impromptu trip for a couple of days with my family i didn't see it coming up so i wasn't prepared for it but i do upload every day on my instagram on my instagram story so if you guys want to keep up with me over over there make sure to follow me on instagram i know a lot of you guys don't but you probably didn't even know i had one so link is in the description if you want to follow me on instagram go ahead and drop that follow and the last thing that i am i'm obligated to say this right and that is that i have no leadership role in my kingdom right and i've, I've mentioned this on stream and i've probably mentioned it in other videos but I am not the leader of my alliance. I'm not even an R4 of my alliance. Um, I play literally no leadership role, right? I'm obviously a content creator. So, you know, if people in my alliance have questions about stuff, I answer them. I, you know, provide some guidance. I've joined discord calls for arcs and for big fights in KBK. So I do have a really good understanding of the game. And so I'm kind of like an extra set of eyes that can keep watch on garrison commanders and, you know, you know, units in, in rallies, make sure they're the right unit type. So, you know, I'm, I'm very involved and, you know maybe i could potentially be an r4 i just have never expressed interest in that but it's important for me to let you guys know that i make no decisions in my alliance and in my kingdom so when it really comes down to should we attack our allies that had nothing to do with my input uh, but i will say right here in the front of the video i actually do agree with us attacking our allies and i know that that's a controversial statement so let me talk to you exactly why we did that let's first start we, we have to start with the beginning of kvk right we have to start at the very beginning what does the map look like who are our allies and what ended up happening when the first passes opened that led us to this point so this is a map of my current kvk you can see my kingdom right here is 1568 if you guys didn't know 1568 savage kingdom i'm relatively new here and i've been incredibly impressed with how much fighting went down this kingdom is full of fighters i love it we'll talk more about how amazing the kingdom is later but this is my current kingdom so every single flag on this map is an ally so we have allies with 91 we have allies with 1573 and we have allies with 1556. now 1556 and 1561 are both imperium kingdoms and you may have seen dragothian i think live streamed the initial level four pass opening when these two imperiums clashed anytime imperiums clash it's really exciting there's always a ton of bloodshed and so we knew when we saw this map that we were in for a very tough kvk we made alliances with these other kingdoms before we saw the map layout and unfortunately this map layout didn't really work out too well for us and the reason for that is because our strongest ally was in a corner kingdom in the farthest corner from us and uh, they were up against an imperium right off the bat which is always going to be hard but they were fighting a two front war so as soon as their passes opened they not only had to fight an imperium which was a handful as it is but they also had to fight 1581. the reason that this is difficult is because 1561 had an ally next to them and so they didn't actually have to fight in this zone and so we knew that the level four passes they're always it's always an important fight right but it was going to be even more important this time 
time around uh, because we knew that unless we can kind of help 1556 in some way that you know they get cornered in on a two front war right off the bat that's going to be a huge detriment to our um, ability to win kbk because you know we need them to be able to fight the other imperium so let me explain the plan when the first pass is open when the level four passes open this was going to be the plan we were going to push north against 1554 and the hope was that we would be able to put up enough of a fight to where 1561 would have to intervene if we were able to do that that would mean 1561 was also splitting up their troops because you know we were thinking if they split up at least that kind of takes a little bit of pressure off of 56 which could hopefully get them to box in 81 and then focus on the real target which was the other imperium now we also have obviously a pass to the south which would get us into the same zone as 91 but since our role fighting 54 and baiting 61 was so important to the outcome of the kbk we never went into this zone we said hey 91 you fight 74 and you know hopefully you guys can deal enough damage and if we're able to we'll come help you but really it's going to be kind of a 1v1 thing here and honestly 74 was surrounded by 73 and 91 so we figured they're probably going to have to fight 73 over here as well so they may be split and if they are split then you know hey that 91 should be able to kind of secure this zone by themselves and they did to their credit they did so let me zoom out here and let's look at the actual map here so this is the zone that we pushed into against 54. now obviously there's a lot of purple here so you can see that that did not go so well so what ended up happening is i am in the alliance called leo our tag is 68 le we've had to change tags pretty much everybody here had to change tags except for k and q because i think 74 was changing their tags which you can change tags mid-war which is super annoying it's it's really just it's stupid um it's a dumb tactic and i, I hate that players can do that but regardless um we were going with a uh, with an alliance called tfv and i think they changed their tag as well i don't know where they are on the map here but they had a an alliance fort here they were going to jump the mountain with flags and push um basically they were going to push east and then north uh that was the plan we were going to push through the pass and kind of go diagonally and then knq i believe they had a fort somewhere over here and they were pushing up into the zone as well and so what ended up happening is tfv was fighting uh sort of against two alliances over in this area they were holding really well they were defending excellently tfv had a ton of great fighters we were pushing up against i believe ra54 and i don't know i think they've actually changed at least one tag i don't remember dbac uh, but anyway we were pushing we kind of got into the middle of the map here we met at the center there was some really positive trades that were going in our favor uh, at least in leo um tfv was holding really well and the idea was we wanted to push back uh the alliance that we were fighting up here and then we would be able to go well go and help out uh, tfv over on the other side and then if we could secure this area then we can help k and q now uh, eventually what happened right what happened is that we kind of got into a stalemate up in the middle we tried to go help tfv it didn't really work out k and q started to get pushed back because i think they were fighting two alliances if i weren't if i'm not mistaken um and eventually the alliances that were over here they had more presence up in the center of this zone and you know out and bobs are incredibly powerful alliances really everybody in 54 i mean huge my hats off to you guys they fought incredibly well very honorable fights uh, i had a good time fighting against these guys we did um after we got pushed back to pass we still kind of gave them hell for a, a week or two we were just randomly zeroing players that were going offline for some reason off territory i don't know um but really at the end of the day after the first about i think 24 hours we were pretty much pushed back to our pass and then the forts went up and as you guys know forts take super long to burn and you know at the end of the day there's a pretty big power gap between 54 and my kingdom right that, like that it is what it is we just didn't have enough t5 players compared to them and so when you run up against numbers right like they just have more numbers and that's really what counts no matter how many positive trades that we have in garrison rally combos like you really have to make a, a huge huge mistake when you have the numbers advantage to lose that war and unfortunately 54 was able to push us back to the pass so that was it for the first pass opening now i mentioned before that we did have the southern pass and this area all of Sakaka was owned by 91 pretty much right when the first passes opened 91 did what they were supposed to do which was push up against 74. now i was focused primarily on my own fights as i should have been but it 
seems to me that in this fight here in Sakaka 74 didn't really put up that much of a fight against 91 because like I said they had to fight on both sides and their idea was that they were going to fight in this area predominantly and you can see they have a lot of territory in this area they also are allied with 81 and so they figured that if they can help 81 here they could box in these guys right off the bat and that would be advantageous to them and so that was kind of what ended up happening here so 91 was able to take Sakaka uh, pretty easily right again again I don't think they really did much fighting and I and I don't want to I wasn't there watching so I can't say for sure but from what I've been from people I've been talking to in my alliance and other otherwise it looks like 91 was able to push in here without too much resistance okay without too much resistance they were able to take this and that was good right that was good there are allies we're happy to see them able to easily take over a zone which was amazing now when they pushed into this area they basically took a uh, pretty much all of the holy sites right they took all the holy sites i think they left like one of them for us which was i think this one right here um but other than that they took every single thing in that area and that sort of started to rub us the wrong way after a while right initially it's not that big of a deal right because at the end of the day we lost the fight up here right we lost the fight and 91 pushed into their zone so it's like hey you get the holy sites because we didn't win and technically they did even if they didn't have to fight for it they still were able to push into that zone and so they took all the holy sites pretty much except for like I, I said I think one maybe two but I think I really I'm 95 percent sure that we only had one holy site here and I think we had to uh, trade it on and off or we had to ask for it I don't remember the exact details again I'm not a decision maker in my kingdom or my alliance so in the time frame between the level four pass opening and the level five pass opening into matcha there was a little bit of a breakout of 74 and 74 started giving 91 hell they were holding them for a bit but then they started getting overrun and they basically said hey 68 leo we need help guys um we can't keep 74 behind their pass and that was a red flag for us because if you guys you know if you if you don't know once you get pushed back to a pass it's very hard to break out right it's very hard to break out because the people that you're fighting against already have the holy sites in that area after the first i don't know 36 hours or something like that whenever the holy sites first become uh rallyable that's when it becomes harder because these holy sites have buffs and so it becomes very hard to break out of passes especially because you can build forts right in front of them and forts take forever to burn so 74 broke out and that was a red flag to us because like we're like wow okay they have pretty much all the holy sites in this area and they can't they can't hold a, a pass that they've already sealed off so that was a red flag but again there are allies so we decided you know what we have to keep 74 behind their pass we can't let them push into this zone because that's going to threaten our performance in the next zone which is matcha we already lost the first pass war we don't want to we don't want that to be the end of kvk so we had territory around this pass here and um i think we actually built some forts here and we kind of pushed along this edge we were up against this mountain uh this mountain range here and so a lot of us teleported onto that area some of us random teleported into this area but this pass here was the one that 74 was breaking out of and so we sent a ton of troops we sent tons and tons and tons of armies to reinforce 91 to seal 74 back behind this pass and we felt good about it right because it worked we were able to come in we helped our allies and we pushed 74 back behind the pass 91 basically took care of the rest of it i think we built one fort or uh, one yeah one fort over here just to kind of be sure but that was the end of it right we came in and we fought back 74 we helped our allies we pushed them back and we felt good at that time i was in lost kingdom chat and i started to see a couple of people from other kingdoms say you know 68 you know why why are you fighting so hard for these guys when they didn't even give you any of the holy sites and again at that time it, it was kind of a red flag for me because it, and i didn't say anything to my alliance leaders or my alliance leader r force anything like that i didn't say anything um you know because i don't think that it's good to kind of be toxic or to start questioning allies things like that um but you know for me i was like you know that it's kind of true right it's kind of true they didn't really give us that much in this area and they still needed our help and we we sacrificed hundreds of thousands of troops to help fight back 74 and we still don't have that many holy sites right like if if you if you need our help we should probably get some of those buffs so i started to see other alliances say, or other other kingdoms saying that and and it got that thought in my head and i was like you know 
they're they're kind of right you know we are we're sacrificing a lot of troops for this and we still don't have any holy sites but again in my head i thought let's just ignore that right because it is the voice of my enemy of course they're going to try to sabotage our relationship and i kept telling myself hey like we had our chance at getting holy sites and we lost the fight so technically you know they they earned it even though we had to help them they still earned it okay so that was my thought process at that time looking back that was probably the wrong thought process we should have been more aggressive with demanding some of these holy sites but at the end of the day we wanted to keep our allies happy and you know we wanted to have a good relationship pushing into matcha because that was going to be the most important fight of kvk so around that time we started asking uh, 91 for this ruins right here and they were kind of dragging us along with that request we were i think we traded it on and off at one point but we really wanted the rewards for kvk for having that ruins and so we were really pressing them about that about that ruins about taking it they still had a ruins over here so it's not like we were taking their only one they still had one at that point and so we kept asking them they kept kind of you know dragging us along and saying you know don't worry about it we're going to talk about it we'll figure it out no big deal that went on for a couple of days and we never ended up getting that ruins right we never did and so that was another red flag for us you know we were we were thinking hey we're allies they already had the ruins for the first part of entering this zone before we even got to the zone they had it and so they already have one they've been using both ruins like we figured hey if we're allies can we at least have the ruin the ruin that was closest to us and we got dragged along right we didn't get a straight answer they said we would talk about it and we didn't so it was another red flag right another red flag with our allies that we now have a very important fight for in matcha so let's take a look at what happened at that point so at that point 54 was able to take over this zone we lost this zone we helped 91 secure this zone entirely 74 was able to take over this zone with 81 um 1556 unfortunately was pushed back by 1561 and 81 now um 56 was able to block off 81's entrance into the zone pretty quick right like they just kind of steamrolled 81 from what i saw um but they still had to put flags and, and dedicate resources to moving into this part of the to the territory and so 61 was able to put their entire focus on this area and ultimately it was overwhelming and that was kind of the worst case scenario right the idea was that we were going to be able to push into the zone and get them distracted but that didn't end up happening because 54 like i said there's a pretty decent power gap between us and 54 we couldn't handle it so that was the outcome of the original passes opening 1556 was boxed in 1573 was boxed in 1554 and 81 had this area i don't know if 81 had much of this area at that point uh, i think 61 took over this entire area and we only had a little bit uh to share with 91 here now we knew going into macho which is this area in the center we knew that this was our best option right this was the area of least resistance because we knew that this would be the hardest area for 61 to get into at that point it seemed like 81 wasn't really doing much when the next passes opened when the level 5 passes opened 81 didn't seem to make a huge run for matcha to help 74 right because again at this point um 74 you know they blocked in 73 uh, but 74 was going into matcha this was their next zone against two alliances right it was going to be 68 which was us and 91 going into matcha against 74. now at that point the only thing that we had to do was to get 74 out of matcha before 61 and 81 could come and help them that was the only way that we would even have a chance at winning this kvk if we were able to do that and force 61 to come in and you know try to help 74 in this area maybe 56 could break out of this zone and maybe put up enough of a fight to where 61 would be distracted and not come and help 874 too much but at the end of the day right the only goal for us in 91 was to push into matcha so aggressively that we could lock out 74 before 61 got there before 81 got there and the the reasoning was that you know if we can lock down this entire area 
and we can have a ton of forts here you know it would be difficult for 61 to send a lot of forces into matcha because they're not directly connected at all they would have to jump into different zones just to even build a fort here and you know with that with the difficulty with which they would get troops into that area it would be easier to fight them out right because we would have dominant presence we would all be able to teleport in we could have our full two kingdoms against you know kind of a trickle in of 61. that was the plan that was the only way that we could get into king's land right that was the only way because we knew that we had no chance fighting into okuri which is this zone here because 54 was going to go in there uncontested and we already lost against 54 right and so 91 wasn't going to be able to push up here with us because if we put too much pressure here well 61 had an easier way of getting into this area than they did this area so that's why we knew matcha is our best bet right it's an area of least resistance it's the hardest for 61 to join and if it's two kingdoms against 54 or 74 we should be able to get in right we should be able to get in secure the zone and then at that point we would just have to hold it against 54 61 and 81 um and you know it wasn't going to be easy but that was our best shot right and and hopefully along that way maybe 56 could break out with all the fighting that was going on so the next pass is open and what we did immediately is we took this pass our kingdom took this pass and we built we were building i think three forts right in front of this pass that way if um if 54 when they push down this way they would have to burn those forts in order to get through this pass so we wanted to build the forts install this area for as long as possible that way we can push into matcha without worrying too much about 54 at that time and hopefully by the time they uh, got to matcha we would already have pushed 74 out we would have locked it down and then you know again as they trickled in we could fight them off same thing with 61. it wasn't going to be easy but that was the plan so we built some forts here and then we pushed our way with 91 into matcha at that point right at that point uh 74 did not have this pass because obviously this was part of sakako which is dominantly owned by us uh, i'm dominantly owned by uh 91 and so 91 pushed through this pass we pushed through this way over the mountains basically as soon as the pass opened right as soon as it opened we saw three forts go up in this area right now only two of them are still there but three forts were going up in this area uh knq which is you know the top alliance in my kingdom they dropped a fort i believe somewhere in this area and then we dropped ours a little bit more towards the center of matcha and so the idea was we were going to gun for these forts and try to take the forts out and 91 was going to push along the mountains and fight along this edge right anywhere they were coming through passes or anything like that we wanted to take as much territory as fast as possible we didn't want them to get as many forts up in this area at, at all right as as long as there's no forts there then we're good so that was our plan as soon as the pass opened 91 put two forts right here in front of this holy site I know I keep calling them all holy sites that's a circle of I think courage uh but regardless they put two forts here right which to me was a little bit weird but they wanted to protect that uh that circle so that way the enemies didn't even have a chance right that was I guess their thinking so we start pushing and we were doing well for the first couple of hours I would say maybe two or three hours um 91 was pushing through this pass and they were giving 74 hell and we were pushing we built our fort successfully we were able to kill a ton of the marches that were trying to build these forts over here and we were feeling really good about it right we were doing the plan it was it was working relatively as we thought it would um and that was all great unfortunately that is where things started to go south so at that point we had knq here was building flags up towards these forts we at, in leo were helping 91 push 74 away in the southern part of matcha now we were doing well and we were pushing them pretty aggressively and we started to notice that 74's presence near us was very it was running thin right they had maybe five or six uh uh strong players in that area a couple hundred mils but most of them were like 30 mil right and so it wasn't that that wasn't that bad we had a whole alliance against a handful of 74 and it was pretty easy right and that's when we noticed that the support from 91 was drying up and make no mistake when we were trying to communicate with 91 the entire time in matcha the res the response we were getting was very slow right it, they were taking 
forever to communicate with us. They weren't in our Discord. It was it was hard to communicate with them, right? And that's uh, you know maybe that's another red flag, right? Um, if you're in if you're in a KBK and there's serious fighting going on, you have to be able to communicate with your allies. And so we were asking them where they were. What are you doing? What are you object? What are your objectives right now? Like what are what's holding you back, right? Um, I think at one point they said that they were one of their alliances was out of wood or something like that. And you know that's it, it's it, it is what it is, right? I think we were relatively low on wood in our alliance as well, so it's not like something completely ridiculous. Are unheard of but it was frustrating to hear because our alliances had resources and theirs didn't so regardless um that was i guess what was happening on their end and so we were pushing against 74 very little resistance knq was starting to feel the pressure at that time um we were touching one of the flags that was owned by 74 and 91 was touching another and the flag that we rallied was burning and the flag that 91 was touching wasn't getting rallied at all and that was a red flag to us because we were saying, hey, you know, as soon as our flag burns, we can double rally this. You know, we're kind of taking the brunt force here. Like we're taking a lot of hits from these rallies and you guys aren't even hitting your flag. And so that was really frustrating. And we kept messaging them and asking them, what are you doing? What's going on? Where are you guys? Why is no one over here? We don't see you anywhere, right? It's not like they were fighting anywhere else. We didn't see them in matcha at all after the first couple of hours. Like I said, maybe three hours we saw them fighting maybe um and then they were kind of gone and you know maybe they went to bed or whatever it doesn't matter what the what the reason was um they weren't there and eventually ev literally maybe 15 minutes later we saw them hit the flag and there was nothing in it right so it wasn't even a matter of they couldn't they didn't have enough players online to burn the flag it was a matter of nobody scouted it they didn't even know that that flag was empty and we couldn't hit it because we were burning a flag away. And so, you know, we were sitting there kind of just frustrated, just sitting there waiting for the flag to burn when, you know, 91 could have just tapped it with a single T1 and it would have started burning. Right. And so that was really frustrating because we tried messaging them. We were asking them, we're like, what's going on? And then after all that time, it literally just took a tap with with an army and that was kind of you know where things went south that was that was when things started to get bad because we realized okay these guys aren't anywhere to be found uh, the flag wasn't burning just because they didn't know that they had to burn it even though they were touching it like we were confused at that point as to how they didn't know what they were supposed to be doing because it was pretty clear right like they built up to it what was happening and they weren't anywhere else they weren't fighting anywhere else so that's when we got really really concerned so we noticed 91 support fell off and we were still fighting so we kind of left that area and we said hey look like 74 is not even over here we don't know what 91's doing but knq needs our help so we started building up towards this way and we started to try to start double rallying some of the flags and forts that 74 had up here the problem was like i said we only had a, a couple of hours in matcha before we had to worry about 61 and the other enemies coming into this area and so the biggest thing with matcha wasn't our ability to beat 74. we knew that if we had our entire kingdom and all of 91 fighting 74 that we could beat them obviously two kingdoms versus one it's very hard to win that's not me knocking 74 it's just two kingdoms versus one it's very hard so it wasn't a matter of could we beat 74 we knew we could the problem was could we do it fast enough and that's where we that's where we ran into an issue we were building to try and help knq up here and the progress that we were supposed to also be making down in this area wasn't being made because 91 wasn't there and that was you know the third fourth strike i, I lost count right? i lost count um as to what strike we're on but that was mega frustra frustrating and without 91 support we couldn't lock down matcha in the time that we needed we couldn't do it so we pushed up this way we tried our best it wasn't working we kept fighting and at that point that's when i had to go to bed it was like 2 30 in the morning or something like that i had stuff to do i couldn't stay up so the next morning i woke up and it, i noticed we weren't able to push far enough into matcha i only slept maybe five or six hours and that's when i realized that things were in bad shape and so i started going through i had a million mails in my box uh, i was going through everything and i saw what i saw and i was sent this video and we there's the date and time right in the corner you can see it um but this is we found out this is what 91 was doing when we were losing hundreds of thousands of troops 
we were pushing against 74 alone we were at a race against the clock to secure matcha and literally to 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 have a chance at winning right it wasn't just about securing matcha it was if we don't secure matcha we do not do like kvk is over that's it right like it was the most important fight in all of kvk and i logged in and this is what happened 91 wasn't there because they were farming honor <laughs> they were farming honor at the uncontested ruins one of which was supposed to be ours we talked about this we asked them for the ruins we days in advance prior to any of this we were asking them about it this was supposed to be our ruins and they were farming honor honor and you can see here it wasn't one guy with a couple of marches right i i went through and i counted briefly there were about 35 marches at one of these ruins and about 45 at the other if you guys want you can pause the video and count it doesn't matter there were way too many marches at the ruins during the most important fight of kvk and that was the final straw right that was it that was when we as 68 started saying okay what are we going to do about 91 because at that point like i said they didn't give us uh, the holy sites in this area they didn't give us the ruins that we asked for they couldn't hold for uh, 74 without us even though they already locked down the area we sacrificed hundreds of thousands of troops to help them do that they still didn't give us the rune or the ruins after that we pushed into matcha then they disappeared and then the whole time that we're fighting into matcha to get the victory right like we're losing hundreds of thousands of dead troops in our in our kingdom for the second time right or third time we fought against 54 the first time so we at that point were already exhausted a lot of our members already lost a ton of troops and with this new garbage healing update it was difficult to 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 keep fighting but a lot of us were using speed ups we were using resources right burning hundreds of millions of resources and hundreds and hundreds of hours uh, thousands of hours of speed ups to, to sustain this fight in matcha and then we turn around and we see our allies sitting in the safe zone farming honor with like 80 marches right 80 marches would have been a huge difference that's not a small amount of of troops and so we decided okay 91 literally right and i'm not it's this is like this is objectively speaking 91's inability to fight inability to communicate inability to you know fight alongside us in matcha for a sustained amount of time right i'm sure that they could argue that they fought for a little bit they did fine that's that's great but they weren't there when it mattered most and that costed our kingdom so many millions of resources so many troops hundreds of thousands of troops that we decided that's basically an enemy right that's kind of like stabbing us in the back that's leaving us out to die and matcha while you farm honor and cost us resources and troops for, for ruins that we should have had we already asked them about days ago that was when we decided 91 is literally that's that's a backstab that's a betrayal right they left us out to die and we were furious um and again it's because this kvk meant a lot to us we fought very hard we we were the best allies we could be up until that point by by being okay with helping them fight back for this pass by being okay with them taking the holy sites in this area um and, and you know we tried to be great allies to them <clears throat> and then again the most important part part in matcha we were we were left to die out in the middle of this zone and so we decided you know what kvk is over for us right we couldn't take over matcha and it's literally it's literally a direct result of 91's inability to continue fighting alongside of us and it's not like they didn't have armies because their armies were out they were at the ruins they had troops they had people online right it's not like they were sleeping they were there they just weren't in the fight and so that caused us to realize that we might have had a chance of taking matcha but it was their fault they they literally failed the objective they failed to help us for a sustained amount of time um and that's when we decided you know what we already lost kvk um because of this and we're going to punish them we're going to punish them for what they did and that's what we decided to do we decided hey we're fighting 91 because they cost us too much damage to let them off the hook right and around that time the lost kingdom chat was blowing up people were saying you know justice for 68 people had our back because people saw what happened like like it was a clown move right it was a clown move on 91's part 
and even our enemies were saying like hey 60 68 got shafted here like i don't know what 91's doing but like they're over there freaking killing barbs and stuff like they're not fighting 68 totally got basically betrayed like they didn't say it directly but like that's what happened we were betrayed in matcha um they didn't attack us but they caused us so much damage without helping that we decided to punish them and so all of this area here was owned by 91 and we pushed out we pushed out of the pass we rallied their flags for probably i don't know like 16 hours or something like that um we pushed all like this was all red we pushed all the way down us and knq we pushed them all the way back to their pass and you know at that point i was already the past couple of days i was already on uh, vacation so i wasn't i fought a little bit but i wasn't able to help too too much and the worst part about fighting back 91 in this area is that they fought us back pretty well they fought pretty well and so that was heartbreaking we were like wait a minute you guys have good garrisons you guys can fight in a war if you had just done this in matcha 36 hours ago we would have had a shot but instead you farmed honor and now now that we're attacking you now you want to fight now you want to fight okay that was frustrating right it was frustrating that we saw what they could do they just didn't do it when it mattered and so it, it it's it's heartbreaking to think like we may have had a shot there you know and again we, i us taking kingsland against an imperium without the help uh, of our allies in the top left we probably weren't going to win kvk right like the, the odds were slim so i'm not saying that we were going to win if it weren't for 91 i'm saying we would have had a chance breaking into kingsland right we would have had at least a shot at it but we didn't so that's what that's everything that's happened to my knowledge to this point we pushed them back eventually they stopped fighting because they realized that they already have other passes it didn't really matter and then 54 started to come in and at that point 91 knew it was over right like it like they're probably still burning flags over here not that it even matters um yeah they're still burning flags here of 91 so yeah uh that's what happened that's why we ended up attacking our allies um it's a serious thing right attacking allies is a big deal for the most part um people think that that's a, a an, an absolute no-no people think you know there's a lot of players out there who would say that there's no reason to break that uh, truce with another kingdom um and i get that i understand why you would think that and i respect that as well right um that's it's honorable but at the end of the day uh we just we lost too much right we we put up with too much lack of communication not enough fighting and and that's that's really what it boiled down to we we just we lost it like we were like hey enough is enough like we're not gonna get betrayed like this and let them get away with it so that's what happened that's why we started fighting against our allies here 91 and that's pretty much it the kvk is over right like we, we fought them back and you know we we zeroed enough 54 players to where there's no making a truce with them at least from what i, I again i don't i'm not a decision maker in the kingdom at all but it sounds to me like they would never make a truth the truth with us which is too bad right it, it is what it is it doesn't matter um and i don't even know if the leaders in my kingdom would want that right so again it, it's not like that's something that i was like that they were seriously looking for maybe they were again i don't know i don't know um so it's not like we can really it seems like we wouldn't be able to make a truce with anybody um so that's pretty much it right like that's just it's just not gonna happen it looks like um 54 and those guys 61 they're gonna make it into king's land relatively uncontested um you know we're probably still going to peek through the past a couple times to hit some cities that aren't paying attention we're still probably going to for kill events you know give them hell and do what we do uh, but in terms of winning uh the the winning king's land um i just don't think that that is a possibility at this point especially because you know pink is still boxed in now as always there's two sides to every story so i'm sure that 91 has their own version of what happened all i can speak on is my experience from what i saw in lost kingdom the video that i showed you of them sitting at the ruins when we were getting slaughtered and yeah so again that's my perspective that's what happened in my kvk now the final question is am i migrating right people have asked me people have asked me before kvk even started will you come to my kingdom <laughs> and you know now that we've lost kvk people have asked me am i migrating and the answer is no 
right the answer is no and i think that losing a kvk is a, a bad reason to, to migrate out of a kingdom um if you lose three kvks in a row then hey that's a pretty good reason to leave a kingdom because obviously they're not performing well or maybe you're not having enough of an impact or whatever uh, maybe the alliances aren't gelling together and you don't see a future for that kingdom i think losing one kvk is not an excuse to leave a kingdom especially because 1568 dude again we migrated in right after the last kvk 1568 won kvk won they did a great job we saw that they were amazing we migrated in and we wanted to win kvk2 with them it didn't work out but what we did see was the entire kingdom absolute savages dude k and q is a beast and not to mention leo dude leo my home my home forever man uh i love it um we this was the first kvk where we were trying to see are we going to gel together right and i think i think for the most part we did uh, i would like to think that us and k and q at least leo and k and q gelled pretty well together um typically uh scarred is the king of this kingdom uh he he handed it over to rk to to do some i guess for most of the the fighting in matcha um i don't know if he just needed a break or whatever i don't again i don't know i'm not a decision maker i don't know what happens there but anyway leo and k uh, and k and q absolute savages not to mention obviously right and i'm not singling out you know any anyone in particular but seg absolute savages brf absolute savages where are they on the map they're here brf um that's i think uh mostly russian players there um but everyone man everyone xsq there was so many powerful fighters in this kingdom and i was i was thoroughly impressed with the amount of people that were in the open field that were just rallying objectives defending like champions right um we've got work to do obviously right we've got work to do um we still were seeing some mistakes from players standing in aoe and and doing some of the mistakes that i mentioned in my video but uh, at the end of the day i was really proud to fight alongside the guys of 1568 tons of really great players like absolute amazing players this kingdom is truly filled with with warriors and you know i'm not migrating right i'm not leaving uh I'm, I'm i'm at least going to wait it out for one or two more kvks um i haven't even i haven't even thought about migrating right like that hasn't even been a thing like i haven't thought like okay well if we lose the next two i'm gonna move to the like no i, I haven't even thought about it um I, I don't i don't plan on doing it right that's not to say that i never will you know i didn't think i was gonna migrate out of my last kingdom so I don't know what the future holds but right now i have no plans of leaving uh and you know at this point we are going to start looking into recruiting new players so i get a lot of messages from people saying you know can i migrate into your kingdom can i join 1568 i want to play with you and my my answer has always been like hey that's not really up to me and that's true right that's true um i reached out to scarred i reached out to rk um and i kind of was getting a testing the water saying like hey like what are you guys actually looking for um i don't want to just open the floodgates and let anybody join 1568 not that they would even let that happen obviously but i wanted to get an idea of what they were looking for for people for the next kbk and so the general consensus that i picked up was that um we really want to see you be around 30 to 35 million power uh power doesn't mean that much right it doesn't mean that much but it does give you us an indication of where your tech is at and how close you are to t5 and things like that so um that is a very loose requirement so that's not to say if you're 25 mil you can't join you may be able to um we want to see a lot of kills right kills are more important to us than um than power especially kills of t4 and t5 obviously anything beneath that is like not that big of a deal we want to see millions of kills right millions and millions of kills um and i don't even have that many right for my power level 20 million is kind of a joke i should have more most of my early game i didn't fight at all so that's why that is the way that it is um i got i think almost 6 million kills during this kvk alone so yeah it's it, you know it's it's something that we look at kills are very important we want to see you have millions of kills right millions and millions of kills that's great the most important thing we want to see is over a million dead troops we want to see more than a million and you can find out how many you have if you go into uh, more info you can check out here you can see how many troops have you had die the reason that deaths are more important than power and kills is because it shows us that you're not afraid to lose your troops and that's what wins kvks your ability and your willingness to put troops in flags when they need to be defended 
your ability ability to join rallies to kill the enemy flags that's what wins kvks and so the most important thing for us is that you have a lot of dead troops as well right now if you have you know five million deads and two million kills then we know that you're not really paying attention but again those are rough estimates very rough and it's going to be on a case-by-case -case basis but we will be uh, recruiting people into 1568 so if you fit that category or if you think you will be in that range over the next two to three months then you can apply you can apply for the kingdom um we'll try to find somewhere to put you um but i can't promise everybody can join i don't know how many of you are interested but that's the deal so if you guys want to play with me if you want to play in 1568 that's what we're looking for uh, we will be recruiting after this kvk obviously you can't migrate in while we're in kvk so if you are interested use this time to you know fight during mightiest governors get that power up and do what you got to do um obviously the more commanders that you have that are expertise legendaries the better we need um rally captains we need garrison captains those are all very important even if you're a 35 million power player if you have maxed legendaries that's still you know pretty useful even though we are using the tech of the garrison leader so anyway um that's the case that's the deal if you guys want to play with me with that being said guys if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below if you want to see that raw unedited footage of fighting again it's not really much talking it's just fights happening if you want to see that comment down below click the like button i really do appreciate it when you guys do that all my social media links are in the description below including my discord and my twitch channel where i try to stream at least once or twice a week rise of kingdoms over there so make sure you drop a follow so that way you know the next time that i go live finally there is a link in the description to download rise of kingdoms for free on your computer or your mac uh, that's how i played this kvk i think this is the best way to play during kvk because it seems to be a bit more stable uh, for me and so i highly recommend it again it is free there's a link in the description to download rise of kingdoms for your computer with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been on the arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace